Many folks out there are struggling with tough situations. Perhaps you're in a, an abusive relationship or you felt abandoned or betrayed or you had somebody cheat on you, somebody hurt you really bad, somebody stole from you, whatever it is that you feel like you're a victim of. I know it can be very convenient to try to blame the other person. And so they're the bad person and you're the good person and you don't deserve this. And so this is, this is not about deserving or about fault. So one of the major problems I see is people want to play the blame game. So they want to talk about whose fault it is. Right? This shouldn't have happened to me. It was all their fault. If it wasn't for them, it wouldn't have happened. So they're the bad person. They're the abuser. They're the evil one. And in the court of law, that may be true. But in a vibrational universe, if you understand the idea that everything happens for a reason, and if you recognize that you create your own reality, then you understand that whatever is happening to you, you're, you're responsible for that as well. So that doesn't mean that it's your fault or it's their fault. Really, the idea of who's at fault is like the fucking stupidest thing ever because it, it doesn't mean anything. Other, other than for the legal just, justice system where people get incarcerated for being wrong or, or you pay a fine because you're wrong. You know, you got to recognize that when you're a match to something, you know, as a victim or as an abuser, then then, then you're in a vibrational resonance. You're, you're still attracting everything that's coming to you. So if you tend to have, for example, uh, friends that always shit on you and friends that abuse you or, or don't take you seriously or don't approve of you or whatever, and if that happens all the time, then how is it their fault? Like, you got to own up to the fact that, hey, what is it about me that's attracting these types of people, right? If, if you're constantly in abusive relationships, uh, dysfunctional relationships or whatever, you got to ask yourself, look, what, what part am I responsible for? Yes, these are people are abusive. They are uh, messed up people or, or bad people or dangerous people or whatever. But what part of me is attracting that? So you, you got to own up to your half of the relationship because there, there's there's no one side without the other. That, that saying takes two to tango. Well, it takes two to, to, to meet up together and connect, whether it be in a functional way or a dysfunctional way. So this idea of, of who's at fault is really just shifting the blame on somebody else, right? So when you say the other person is at fault and I take no responsibility, then then f you're basically saying that you don't create your own reality. And maybe you don't believe that. But as you can see, if this pattern keeps happening, you are creating it. So rather than talk about who's at fault, which is not about, well, if it, I'm at fault, then I deserve. This is not about punishment or about who's right or who's wrong. Because obviously... Both parties involved have a responsibility in the interaction, right? Whether one is the aggressor and the other one is the victim or, or you're miscommunicating or you're both messed up or whatever it is. The, the, the fact of the matter is you, you don't experience anything unless you're a vibrational match to it. So if you're experiencing it, and it's happening a lot, and it feels bad. That doesn't mean beat yourself up, okay? So, so a lot of times, people are on the assumption that either I have to blame them, and and I relinquish all responsibility for 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 why I uh, attracted this into my experience, or I gotta blame myself, and I'm no terrible, and I'm no good, and I should beat myself up. See, see, this 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 whole fault thing is is just it's, it's ridiculous. The the whole point is. You got to take responsibility for whatever experience you're having and, and have take a deeper look at why this keeps happening if it keeps happening often, right? And, and I can assure you, 
many, many people out there with the, this victim mentality, there, there, there are very obvious signs that, that they've been ignoring for a long time. So if, if you got bullied once when you were a kid and, and then it stopped and you got better, then fine. But if, if, you're, if you're an adult and you've been getting bullied for 10, 20 years, it's, it's no coincidence, right? It's not like nobody, everybody else is, is having a great time, but all the bullies just gravitate towards you, right? Because that's exactly what's happening. So, so is it the bully's fault or is it somehow your responsibility for, for why you have these people gravitate towards you. So this is not logical and I don't expect everybody to understand. It might trigger some of you to hear this. And, and, and this, is, this is just about recognizing that you got to take responsibility for your half of the interaction. Because no matter who you interact with, you, you're also interacting. So you're also creating the outcome, whether it's an outcome that you like or you don't like. All right, so give up this whole idea about who's, whose fault it is and who deserves to be suffering and, and all this fucking bullshit and, and just try to take a little step back and see if you can find out what the lesson is. Because, because oftentimes when you're a victim of something and it keeps happening, it's, it's, a, it's a red flag. In, in, you're ignoring certain things about yourself and you're, you're allowing people to violate your boundaries or you need approval and all this sort of thing. And I'll put some links below on some related uh, topics. Hopefully that can help. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave it below. Thanks for watching.